Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. Um, all the timestamps and so forth. Here we go. 5.1, uh, 55%, 55 humidity. Welcome to Tuesday. So, for today's shout out, I'm going with Rev It Up 1965. Rev It Up 1965. Um, he, he doesn't make videos that frequently. The last video he made um, that I found interesting, and I was hoping for a bunch of follow-ups, he made a video where he... Um, he documented his 83 Honda, well, his 1983 Honda 200E, his 1984 Honda ATC 200ES, and his 85 ATC 200S. The 200E is also a three-wheeler. So he's got, got three nice three-wheelers. They're in real nice shape. Um, he seems to take really, really good care of them. So he... he, he did a video showing the bikes, showing the tires, and I wish he um, he did more videos of working on them and y you know acquiring new ones and so forth like that. So um, if we all drop by and visit him and subscribe and bother him, maybe we could get him to make us all some more videos. So anyway, he's got three cool bikes. Um, he's a big supporter of the Horde, so go check it out. Um, I think I know how to um, cut and paste um, the links, so I'm going to start putting them in the description from now on. So anyway, guys, please go out and watch each other's channels, watch each other's videos, support each other because that's a good thing for all of us, right? You never know what you're going to learn. Um, this video, just a quick one. And for those of us who work outside, um, we end up with our hands getting beat up pretty bad. And they, they get beat up pretty bad whether or not you wear gloves. Um... And in my case, I, I have a lot of trouble with my um, fingers kind of cracking along here and all. Right? Um, so, they have this stuff. You could get it on the internet. That's where this came from. Um, you could also buy it at Harbor Freight and a lot of other places. This O'Keefe's Working Hands. And I, I've been finding... For these uh, cracks and all, it it really it really seems seems to be helping because um, I gotta I gotta tell you when my fingers split, I mean they really really hurt. So um, anyway, I've I've had I've had good luck with it. It's it's I don't know eight bucks, and uh, I mean you get a lot of it in here. It's uh, white. Beautiful. It's white, kind of waxy, right? So you kind of, you know, work it into the cracks. Um, it it seem, seems to help. Probably it would work better for me if I used it more frequently. I seem to uh, remember to put it on a little bit before bed. You can see it absorbs right in. It doesn't leave like a mess behind. So, anyhow, I rec I do recommend this stuff. It seems seems to be doing a, a good job for me. Everybody probably has their own little winter um, winter routine to try to keep their hands from getting destroyed. Um, but this this stuff seems to help. I've also found that when I um, peel oranges and all I started using a spoon rather than my fingers because it seems that the citric acid from the oranges was really beaten up and making my fingers crack 
also when I when I wash my hands um, at, in the kitchen I, I was having a tendency to use the dish soap and uh, I don't think we have um, Dove or palm olive or any of that other stuff that you, you know they show the lady soaking their hands and I, I don't know what the heck my wife uses battery acid or whatever so um, I, I, I discovered that was beaten up on my hand, so I, I have a tendency to um, to stick more with uh, just regular bar soap, and uh, that 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 seems to help. Obviously, the hand creams, the gloves help. Um, I even found, and you, if it depends how much your hands sweat, how much this is going to annoy you, but if you wear a pair of um, um, rubber plastic vinyl um y you know work, work gloves underneath your cotton gloves that 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 tends to keep a little little bit of moisture in so any anyway anybody who wants to comment on this video to how they keep their hands it's you know especially us guys that are kind of out here in the cold you know when you're messing with firewood and and all the other stuff it does it does beat up on your hands Anyway, folks, I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing and, you, you know, keep up all the good feedback. Um, remember to keep your feet down, keep your head up, and folks, please get out there and enjoy all your days. Bye now.